All right, we're ready to go. Um, thank you everyone for having me here. My name is Dale Janney and I'm with Image Skincare. So this is kind of a really exciting opportunity to kind of learn a little bit more about skincare in general and specifically um, one of Image Collections, one of the lines today, which is the Vital C line. Um, I always like to give a little bit of background of what the difference is between a cosmeceutical and a product that you can buy over the counter. Because a lot of people don't know the big difference. So you always hear these buzzwords and you go into a, a pharmacy or you see commercials on TV and say, hey, this is, has vitamin C or retinol and you can buy it at the CVS. It's very different from what a cosmeceutical is, which is what image skincare is. Uh, a cosmeceutical um, is, can go much deeper into the skin. It is much more effective. Um, anything you buy over the counter, I don't care how much it costs, if you can buy it over the counter by FDA law, it cannot go into the living tissue of the skin. So it can only go into the dead skin cells in the epidermis. Cosmeceuticals can go into the living tissue of the skin, and that's where you really affect change in the skin. So that's why Image, we sell to licensed skincare professionals like plastic surgeons, dermatologists, and licensed estheticians so they can make the recommendations. A um, little bit about Image. Um, Image started about 18 years ago, and it was started by an esthetician and her husband, who is a plastic surgeon. And she had some redness to her skin. It was kind of dry and dehydrated and just couldn't find anything that, that would help it. So they self-formulated the Vital C Serum, which you all are going to try today. And she used it and loved it, and it fixed it. So she bottled that one up and started selling that one product, which then in turn turned into a skincare line called the Vital C skincare line. And then it became image skincare and there's many different lines for all different types of skin conditions. So fast forward 18 years later, image skincare is now the number one best-selling skincare line in the entire world that's a professional grade line, which is really something because a lot of lines have been around for a long time. And how, does, how did that happen so fast? Because every single product that Image has has a clinical trial. So you can see results both in the lab and on the skin. It's very clean and very clinical. So it's just a really wonderful line. And, you know, I've sold three or four different skincare lines and Image definitely so far is my favorite because it really works. Um, we're going to kind of go a little bit into some slides about the Vital C line, um, kind of what we're focusing on now. We can kind of go through and I'll tell you a little bit what makes it so special. So I'm going to share my screen. All right. So our philosophy, age later, who doesn't want that? So how are we gonna do that? No. So when we're doing a skincare regimen, um, our philosophy is the same. So it's three products and a sunscreen. So in the morning, you're gonna use a cleanser to cleanse your face. You're gonna put a serum on and then a sunscreen. Sunscreen is super important. Do you want to know the best anti-aging secret ingredient that there is? It's sunscreen. The best anti-aging thing that, that there is. Then in the evening, you're going to walk, cleanse your face again, use the serum, but instead of a sunscreen, because you don't need a sunscreen when you're going to bed, you're going to use a night cream that's going to help nourish your skin. So that is our philosophy of a complete skincare regimen. So today, especially, we're doing this you know, focus group on Vital C. So Vital C is the original collection that the company was founded on. And now 18 years later, it's still our best-selling collection. And that's 
and there's a number of different reasons for that. Um, it's great for all skin types. Everyone can use it, but it's really good for if you've got dry or redness prone skin or even sensitive skin. So who's the Vital C client? Anyone who has dry skin, gets dehydrated, a little bit red, environmentally stressed. Now what I mean by that is, you know, the harsh environment, the South Florida sun is kind of brutal. It can do a lot of damage to your skin. Um, and skin discolorations, you know, the, the sun, you'll get the you know, hyperpigmentation of the skin, you'll get you'll brown spots. So it's, this line is good for all of that. So what are the active ingredients? So the first one, if you see on here, is a really fancy long name. It's called texelhexaldexyl ascorbate. It's a really fancy name for vitamin C. So vitamin C, I'm sure you've all probably heard, it's a superstar product in skincare. However, they're not all created equal. I remember when I was a, a dermatology pharmaceutical rep, when they really discovered that vitamin C was really good for the skin, um, it wasn't in a stable form. So you'd put it on and it would give you about 30 minutes of protection and then the sun would oxidize it and it would stop protecting you. Then along came along a, a new technology of the way to make it stable. And that form is called L-ascorbic acid. And that form to date is the form that primarily most every skincare company uses. Because it's good, it works, and it's stable. Image is one of the only companies that uses this long fancy name, texahuxaldexal ascorbate, because it is four times more potent than the previous form. And we don't use just one form, we use four different forms. Some are oil soluble, some are water soluble. Well, what does that mean? It just means that we use every way to get that product into your skin to protect your skin. Because vitamin C does a really good job of supporting collagen, and collagen is all that nice volume we get in our face, but unfortunately, the older you get, the more it goes away. So we wanna support that collagen. Um, powerful antioxidant, what does that mean? So our skin is constantly being barraged by UVA, UVB, pol light pollution, just anything in the, our environment. And what happens is it goes in and it breaks open a cell and the cell slowly starts to die. So antioxidants help protect that cell so it doesn't die. So another way to just kind of stop the aging process. Uh, skin brightener. Wow, vitamin C is one of the best skin brighteners you'll see. And what's is really exciting is in the clinical studies, we always do for every product, they're not these long studies, it's 30 days. So there is a significant difference you will see in your skin at 30 days. So, and peptides, what are peptides? Peptides are um, a chain of amino acids that you can manipulate to do different things. Um, in the vital C, you see it has a thing that says it provides retinoid type effects with no irritancy. A retinoid is a product like Retin-A or Retinol. You've probably heard of that. It turns your, your cells over faster so that it stays younger. However, it can be irritating some people. This is able to mimic that using peptides. So you get some of the same beneficial results without irritating your skin. Because a lot of people who have some redness to your skin, um, it can be sensitive too. So that's why we use that. So let's kind of dive into the whole skincare line, the Vital C line. There's a lot of different products in here, but really the main three are always the first three because they fit in that little wheel that I talked about. Remember about cleansing, a serum, sunscreen, then cleansing, serum, and a night cream. So those are our essentials. And these three are what we call the essentials of the line, the, the workforce that's gonna do it. So the first thing is a cleanser. So this cleanser is a, a very milky cleanser. So it's a little bit different than what some people think of a cleanser. It doesn't really foam up, 
but it does a really good job of emulsifying makeup. Um, and because it's milky, if you've got that kind of red or irritated dry skin, it's very soothing at the same time. Um, little hint, you can even use it for shaving. I, in the shower, use some of the cleanser and I'll shave with it. So perfect if you really like a creamy cleanser, you really like this one. So we're gonna do that in the morning. The next is the serum. And this one product right here, if you remember anything, we have about 147 different products in all of our different skincare lines. This serum was the very first thing that they invented 18 years ago for her skin. And it is still, that one product is still our best selling product of every product of every line that we have. Favorite. So favorite? It's, 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 it's called, the, it's the Vital C Hydrating Serum. So it is a blend of four different forms of stable vitamin C. It's good for all skin types. Image bestseller. Um, the smell, I, everyone loves the smell of it. Literally, I've never met a person who didn't just absolutely love this product and does a really good job of brightening the skin up, protecting it from, you know, it's an anti-aging as well because of the protection it provides. Yeah. Yes. How does that differ from the um, Vital C, the Max serum? So, okay, that's a good question. She was asking about um, the difference between the Max serum versus Vital C. Max is a different line, and the Max is an anti-aging product that uses stem cells to help heal the cells up so they don't, so they don't die. Um, both are good anti-aging. The Max works differently. It doesn't have the vitamin C in it, so it's not gonna give you that skin brightening effect that this will. Um, they're both used for, for two different things. The Max is, if you're going strictly anti-aging, trying to get rid of wrinkles and stopping the aging process, um, the Max is probably my second in line favorite. Um, some of the old technologies work better and faster. So Ageless is also an anti-aging line. Um, those use things like retinol, which speeds up how fast your skin turns over. It uses acids to help exfoliate the skin so you don't have any dead skin cells on the outside. The Max does all of that without using it because it's really for people with a, who have sensitive skin. So they both have a great fit, but this is just, this is probably um, better for a broader range of people. So if I have one serum in all of our lines, and it's probably why it's our number one bestseller, because there's really isn't anyone who can't use this, this serum. So but good question, thank you. Question. If you're using Retin-A, mm -hmm. You, and do you put the Retin-A on and then put the serum over or? So um, Retin-A, you should only, any kind of retinol, Retin-A, any of those prescriptions should only use at night. Right. Always at night. So in that wheel again, you would wash, put the serum, then the sunscreen. And then at night, you would wash, put the serum and the Retin-A over the serum. Okay. Some doctors say if you're putting the Retin-A on, you should moisturize over the Retin-A. Yeah, either one, the, one's not a particular moisturizer, and it depends on what kind of um, Retin-A. If it, it's a prescription from, yeah. from a physician, right. there are better ways to, do, to get Retin-A. Um, because uh, the prescription, the old style, it was meant to be an acne medication. As a side effect, they started noticing people didn't have wrinkles. And so that's why to this day, all Retin-A insurance stops covering it at age 23 because they think you're using it for anti-aging. However, it doesn't have a real nice delivery system. So people tend to get irritated for it with it. You've got to go on and go off it, use it every other day or maybe every third day. You've got to use a moisturizer with it because it cracks the skin you're much better off going with a, a retinol product from a skincare company um, like ours is in a slow dissolving sphere. So you're not 
giving it to the skin all at once, it slowly delivers it over time. But um, yeah, as long as you're doing the, the Retin-A only at night, mm -hmm. then the um, usual protocol is just the serum and then the, uh, the Retin-A. Okay, so we've covered the cleanser. We've covered the number one best-selling product that we have is the, the Vital C serum. And now the night cream. And the Vital C line has many different nighttime moisturizing creams depending on the severity of the dryness of your skin. So the one that we recommend is the hydrating overnight cream that's gonna uh, uh, appeal to the broadest range of people. And it is vitamins A, C, and E. So this is gonna deliver a lot of hydration to your skin. Because remember, if you have dry skin, this is a really great line for it. But when we go past this, I'm gonna show you a lot of different alternatives because if you don't like that level of moisture, we've got one that's much more hydrating. We've got ones that are less hydrating. We'll kind of go through all of them, but these three ones are the essentials to the line. So if you have these plus a sunscreen, you have a complete, really good cosmeceutical, medical grade skincare line. All right, now let's take a look at some of the other add-ons that aren't part of what the core essentials are. The first one is the Vital C Hydrating Enzyme Mask. So part of good skincare is exfoliating your skin. If you've got sensitive skin, using something harsh to scrub your skin will really irritate it. So the exfoliator in this is just really lovely creamy enzymes. So it uses fruit enzymes. And you just put the mask on, you leave it on for about 10 minutes, and then you wash it off. And its purpose is then to exfoliate, get all the dead skin cells out off your face, so that way you don't have that tire, the dull complexion. Because remember, when dead skin cells start to build up, you, it gives that lifeless look to your skin. Let me ask you, how often should you do that? Um, it depends. Usually it's once or twice a week. I mean, this one's really gentle. Um, we've got other exfoliators and other lines that, you know, I don't do more than once a week. This you could do at least two, three times a week and you wouldn't have a problem because it is so gentle. It smells really good too. <laughs> um, the next one is an eye cream or it's an eye gel, I should say. So really good for you've got those dry, dehydrated, kind of puffy eyes, little fine lines, uh, wrinkles. A, a neat little trick to it is always put it in the refrigerator. Mm -hmm. And when it goes on, you get a, an added boost because the chilled effect that goes on the skin is really, really nice. And that's also supporting collagen. We, we tend to get really hollow around our eyes. We lose, we lose our collagen there first. And that you put once a, once a day? Yeah, usually once a day. I mean, you could use it twice a day if you're, if you're going out. Mm -hmm. um, usually the, the eye creams like this, you're, you're trying to get rid of that puffy look and, and go. If you use it at night, well, if you're going to sleep, you know, unless you've got a hot date, you're not going to see <laughs> to see. So just put it on as needed. Okay, then some other customizations. So remember that the night cream that I had was for the essentials? It's kind of a medium moisturizer. If that's not enough, you could switch that out. You wouldn't need both. You'd switch it out to the first one, which is the hydrating intense moisturizer. So just the sound of it, intense, and you look at the ingredients, um, shea butter. Um, shea butter is very rich, very emollient. Um, for someone like me, it would be way too, too much. It would you know, feel almost greasy on me. But if you have really dry, dehydrated skin, people love, love, love that product. We sell a lot of it. Uh, the next one is a different serum called the vitamin A, C, E, and red rose wine extract serum. People say, why two serums? You've got the number one best-selling, why would you use this serum instead of that? 
If you're only going to choose one serum, use the one that's the essential. It has all the four different higher end blends. This comes as a little dropper. It's just to enhance, let's say you weren't using the Vital C line. Let's say you were using a different line, but you want some of that benefits of the vitamin C as well. This little dropper, you can just put a drop or two into any product that you're using. Yeah. And so, that is for the lines and the lips, right? Well, not, not lips, just all, all, all over your face. So anywhere that you need some, um, you know, vitamin C protection, the antioxidant protection, the skin brightening protection. It also has some, the vitamin A and E in it too. But this doesn't have the, all the four different kinds that is much more powerful. So I would stick with the original serum. This one throws some people off and this is a, a nice to have if you've had this huge collection of a million different skincare products and you wanna add it to it, I would say stick with the regular one. Uh, the last one is the hydrating oil. So oils have gotten really popular um, as, as, as a moisturizer. Sometimes um, you'll see that light sesame oils or anything, something like that. It's just all preference. It's a very light oil that goes on. You can actually use it as a beard oil. Guys can use it as a beard oil. Um, add it to any treatment if you're for neck or hands. Um, it's just another preference. How do you want your moisture? Do you want it very thick, like the shea butter one, like the intense one? The one that's the essentials that, you know, I showed you on those first sides, that's probably the broadest appeal, but we have a light oil if you'd like it that way too. Okay, three more. Uh, last one is it's a mask, but this is a hydrating overnight mask. So you don't like, like the exfoliant mask that you put it on for you know five minutes and wash it off. This, you put it on and you leave it on all night long. So that's, you could do maybe once a week or so, and it really, really adds a lot of moisture um, to the skin. It has um, some, it's too much to list here, a lot of minerals in it, some uh, blue algae extracts, and it and it's it's it feels light when it goes on, but it really infuses a lot of moisture. So just before you go to bed, you put it on, leave it on, and it stays on all night. Is it one of those green ones? Where no, it's it, it actually you know it's really light. It it looks it's almost um, like a clear gel almost. It's, it's lighter than you think, and it's not like a, a white cream. It's almost like a clear gel. Um, the next one is called Hydrating Water Burst. So this is the lightest of all the moisturizers. So if you didn't like the, the one that we recommend and you don't want the super hydrating one, the Water Burst is really unique because it is very, very light. Um, when you put it on your skin, they call it Water Burst because as you rub it in, it literally bursts into little smaller smaller beads and rubs into the skin very nice. Almost like, like a gel water that goes in. Again, just another uh, choice of moisturizer. So when you're thinking of creating that regimen, okay, you've got your cleanser, you've got that serum that's so good, but my, you have quite a lot of choices on how you're gonna get your hydration in at night. And then the last one is our um, hand and body lotion because a lot of times it's just not our face gets dry. So you can use this hands and body. It has the same thing. It's a great vitamin C. Um, I, I like to tell people and be honest and say what is what I think is a rock star product and nobody can touch it. That's our vital C serum. And by, likewise, I like to say that, you know, it's, it's a nice hand and body lotion, but there's no miracle technology in that one. So, how much to use? Overusing products is one of the main things because it can get expensive for you and it's just wasting the product. A lot of people will put on a serum 
like it's a moisturizer. So they're trying to put enough on that it really soaks in and all the skin. It's not how uh, a serum works. So if you see in, in your hand how much to do it, it's usually one pump. And it doesn't seem like it's enough, but this, they are very, very highly concentrated solutions. You need just enough to just get a thin layer all over your face, not so it's shiny and you know, you know, moisturized with it. Because the technology in, in these is really quite advanced. Um, when it goes on the skin, I've heard people say, well, I don't want to put a expensive serum on or high end because I'm just gonna go to the beach and I'll just sweat it off. Um, they don't work like that. Once you put it on the skin, it goes deep into the skin. It has technology to allow it to go much deeper than an over-the-counter product. About 30 minutes after putting these products on, it's in there. And a lot of them have time release spheres that continue to release products over 48 hours. Some of our lines have something that's called um, vectorized technology. And what that is, is the little spheres, each layer is something else. So think about the technology to make that. You're putting on a cream, you put it in, and it's a little sphere that gets way down into the living tissue. And for an hour, it might be delivering some stem cells. And then it stops and then it starts delivering, um, you know, a moisturizing ingredient. And then it stops and it starts delivering some brightening botanicals. All that in such a small little particle. So much higher end technology here than just putting a cream to get some moisture into your face. Here is a list of all of the different collections that Image has. So um, part of the series, and why I'm really happy to be invited here, is to you know each one to kind of concentrate on a different one and what they what they do. So we today we kind of cover what the Vital C line is. We have an Ormetic line, which is it's an all organic line. Um, if you have super sensitive skin, if you're pregnant, if you're nursing, anyone can use Ormetic. Uh, our Ageless is our typical strong anti-aging line. Iluma, that line is for specifically for pigmentation. You've got spots on your skin, you wanna lift them out. That's what that line is about. The Max is another anti-aging line, but it's for people who have sensitive skin that can't tolerate the, the Ageless line. Ageless is a little less expensive, works a little faster, but some of the products can be irritating if you have very sensitive skin. We've got Clear Cell, which is our acne line. Um, and then our Prevention Plus, that's all of our sunscreens that have moisturizers built into them. So as we go along, we'll do more of the focus groups and concentrate in a little bit on each different line. But for right now, um, in the little cups in front of you is a sample of the serum. That's, that's the superstar one. That's the blend of four different kinds of uh, stable vitamin C. So, and you also have in front of you, you have two samples of the serum. Remember, that little tube is about five to six days worth of product. So you can right now, if you want, in the little cup, ap apply that to the, your face. You can get the kind of the feel of it, the smell of it, the texture. And what I put in those cups is all you need to cover a face. Yes. Regarding routines, for mm -hmm. instance, um, as a golfer, in the morning, I would put on that serum. Yes. Uh, and I would put on the SPF, of course, and everything, and the vitamin. But then you come home, you shower, and you take all that stuff off your face because you, you have to. Yes. Your, your face is grimy from all four hours out there. What's the next step again when you get out of that shower? Because um, that's what drives me crazy with the creams. I don't know if I should do that whole thing again. Right. So if you're if if you're in for the day, you've you've been out all day, and you come home and it's evening, 
you might not need a sunscreen if, if you come off the golf course and you still got a full day ahead, ahead of you, you might want to refresh your sunscreen, mm -hmm. but your serum would still be okay. Because remember, just by washing your face, that serum isn't up on the surface if you can wash it off. That serum is deep down in the living tissues of the skin. It's still there protecting. application again. Yeah, so then when you go to bed, that's when you would do cleanse, put another, you know, dose of the, the serum on, and then use the, the night uh, rejuvenation cream. Yeah. That always drives me crazy. Yeah, so but it's a common, a common thing, because if you think of, oh, I'm going to put this, you know, the serum on, and then, you know, you, you sweat, or two hours later, you, you're like, oh, I wasted that, and I have to use it again. Yeah. You, you don't. That's, that's the technology. Don't confuse an over-the-counter their product that, by law, can only reside in the dead skin cells on the outside. And yes, you're just washing it away. Mm -hmm. These products are, you know, only through licensed skincare professionals. And the, the percentages of the active ingredients are much higher than you can buy anything over the counter. And they're allowed to then go deeper into the living tissue. You're supposed to use the whole thing? Yeah, so that, that in that cup is enough to do your whole, the whole face. And usually, yeah, go ahead. Should there be a visible reaction when no. you put that on? No. No. Okay. You should, it's, not a, it's not a visible. Sometimes the vitamin C, if you have real sensitive skin, if you put it on, you might get a, a little blushing just for a few minutes or so. But most people have no reaction to it whatsoever. Yes. Oh, and she's got a really, really good. good point because Barbara. when we go out Smells there, so it is so hot. Mm -hmm. So you feel you're sweating off your uh, sun protection, and yes. we're constantly. I don't know. They told us to reapply. Um, our lips get so dry. Mm -hmm. So if we were to establish a routine, like for golfers, let's say that are out there in the heat. What would you recommend? Because I've got even sunspots around my nose. Sure. You're seeing, not this brand, yeah. but. So um, anytime you're going to the beach, you're boating, you're golfing, you're doing anything that you're perspiring a lot, um, your serum is fine. It's down in the skin. However, sunscreens, if you're using a pure physical sunscreen like zinc or titanium, how that works is it just sits on the surface and it reflects the sun's rays. So UVA comes in, it hits that, and it just deflects it off. If you sweat that off, you've sweated off your protection, you're gonna to have to reapply that a lot. Then there are chemical sunscreens. Chemical sunscreens work completely different. How they work is they get into the skin and they absorb the UVA and turn it into heat. It turns that energy into heat, but it doesn't sweat off as much. So a lot of them, like our SPF 50, which is a stronger one, is a combination of the two, um, both chemical and physical. It's all pure preference. Pure physicals are a little harder to rub in. You gotta be, be a little patient because it's, it's literally like zinc that's very white and it just sits on the surface until it um, absorbs that keep it handy because yet you will have to keep reapplying I've, I've learned that lesson I preach every day about good skin can skin care and I'm, I'm on my boat and I've got my sunscreen and I'll reply I'll put it on a couple hours go by and I forgot about it and I'll end up getting it it's just that's the one thing because sunscreens because it's deflecting the rays it doesn't you, you'll get damage up top versus way down in the living tissue. That you need to keep real applying. And that's the one that you just talked about. Yeah, well, we, I didn't go over any of our sunscreens. Oh. Um, I just went over the serum, the nighttime moisturizing cream. Um, they have a sample, though, of the sunscreen. Yeah, so the, there's a sample there. Um, what, is, what does it say on the sunscreen? Which sample did, did we give them? Is it a 30 there's or a 30 50? 30 and there's 50. Okay, so you have both. So perfect. Take a look in what you see. 30 or 50. I have 30. Okay. So the 30 is a, is a pure physical. So that's zinc, where it's just bouncing off. And the 50 has both. It has a physical and a chemical. 
And some people are picky, like I don't want a chemical sunscreen, even though the chemicals are, are fine. Um, there's a couple of chemicals that have been, been banned because they're not reef friendly. Um, all of image sunscreens uh, are reef friendly. We don't use anything that enters your bloodstream or anything like that. So you're good either one. What about for the lips? So for the lips, good question. Um, one of our new products that we just launched, um, we only had a lip that was an avocado oil that was very, very moisturizing, but it didn't protect your lips. So yes, we have a lip balm now that has the uh, sunscreen in it. And it also has some uh, really good technology. What it uses is, is uh, um, it's dehydrated marine filling spheres. What it is, is it's a, like an algae that's been dehydrated. And just like a sponge, when you put some moisture into it, it puffs back up. What that does is it fills in the lines. It's like a lip plumper without using technology. Lip plumpers, usually you put it on and it irritates your lips so they swell up a little bit. This doesn't work like this. It's an SPF, but those dehydrated spheres then fill up and really help fill in the lines and the look of dehydrated lips as well. I want that one too. Yeah, it's, it's, that's really, really nice. Does it have some of those in? Is that the Ormetic? So, so no, so the Ormetic, uh, the Ormetic line is the one that's just avocado oil. Okay. And it, that's really nice, really popular, yeah. but it doesn't have any sun protection. Yeah. Yeah. So the, the new one that has it, that's in our um, prevention plot. It's, the, it's in the sunscreen line. So we have four different sunscreens. Yeah, we should have some in there. Yep. We have four different sunscreens. We've got a 30, which is the pure physical. We've got the 50, which is a combination of both. But then we also have a tinted one and we have a matte finish one. The tinted is just gives you a nice little glow to you. The matte one is if you have oily skin, it's got those little sponges that um, absorb the sheen. So it gives you more of a matte finish instead of a lot of times if you put sunscreen on, you get that shiny look that a lot of people don't like. So that's all personal preference. As long as you use a sunscreen, Literally, that's the best anti-aging thing there is. I can't stress it enough. Yeah, if you use a serum, moisturizer, and then foundation, is that enough protection from the sun? So, you, what did you say? You said you put a serum, serum on. then moisturizer, then that well. I use yeah, so, primer, I don't use foundation. So, if, if, if that moisturizer, so our sunscreens are our moisturizers. You notice during the day, you wash, you put a serum on, that's, that's not moisturizers, those are serums. The sunscreen are, is our moisturizers. So what's the difference between an image sunscreen is versus over the counter? Ours are much more, it's high-end skincare. The moisturizer, the sunscreens have plant stem cells, has vitamin C, it has lots of um, botanicals that hydrate your skin, and then on top of that have the sunscreen in it. So yes, as long as you put the serum and you use the, um, the sunscreen, the moisturizer, the moisturizing sunscreen, that's, that's plenty. Well, just a regular moisturizer, not the SPF. And then foundation, is that Okay, is that the there's sunscreen? no sunscreen in any of that? No where's, the, where's your sunscreen? That's what I'm saying. Yeah, no, yeah. No, yeah. No, no sunscreen. sunscreen. Yeah, you, you have, have to have sunscreen. If, if I if you learn one thing today is work a sunscreen in, even if you don't think you're going outside, it's amazing how much um, damage is done to your skin. Um, and we just revised all of our sunscreens in March to add blue light protection. Blue light is way under uh, underappreciated. Blue light is from computers, from cell phones, from TVs. The average person, it's shocking, has gets 14 hours a day of screen time, blue light. It's not quite as damaging as UVA, UVB, but any other sunscreens, they don't protect in that broad range. All of our sunscreens now protect in the uh, blue light as well. So even if you were sitting inside, it's still important at that sunscreen. It's true. My daughter's dermatologist in Chicago tells her, when you get up in the morning, because she works in a home, right. you have to wear sunscreen. 
when you're working at your computer cell then. So if you were saying you, you put the serum on and you were adding a moisturizer, you could substitute whatever moisturizer you're using with one of the sunscreens because those sunscreens are the moisturizers as well. They're very moisturizing. Do you have a question in the back? Yes. Um, you know, we wear, um, going back to our routine, we wear a hat and sometimes our ears are exposed. Can we use that sunscreen for the, uh, in our ears too? Yeah, absolutely. And the neck? Yes, absolutely. Don't, don't forget, absolutely. So, you know, face, decollete, there's, there's nothing, you, I see it all the time. Somebody who will go get treatment, so they're gonna, you know, chemical peel and to remove the spotting, and they've got this beautiful porcelain face, and then the neck and decollete is just covered with, with covered with spots. Don't forget about the areas that are exposed. Is there any zinc oxide in any of these sunscreens? Yes. What, so, what's the percentage? So in the the law just changed. So um, in the SPF 30, it used to be 18 percent. There's new FDA laws that just went in effect January 1st of this year. It had to be increased to 23%. So 23% for that, for the 30. For the 50, it's uh, much lower. I think it is 11 or 12% because you have the chemical sunscreen protecting you as well. But if you're just doing lone zinc alone, then it has to be 23% or higher. Because I, I use MD Ulta, mm -hmm. which has, I think, 19. Yeah, it's, it, 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 if it has a chemical in it, then, then that's doing the, the heavy lifting work. And honestly, sometimes a chemical sunscreen, um, they rub in much easier because you're not having to put a total physical block yeah. on because it's, it's absorbing. Um, we used to use a micronized zinc um, that was really nice. It really rubbed in really well, um, and a lot of people did, but that's being pulled back from the market because it's been shown that it actually um, shows up in your bloodstream. There's been no studies that showed that that's harmful or any, of any way, but we didn't want to do have anything that would enter the bloodstream, so we went back to you know, the non-micronized zinc, which makes it not quite as nice to rub in. You have to, when you rub it in, you just have to wait like 15, 20 seconds before you, you do it, where the, the micronized just went in right away. You also have tinted moisturizers. We do. So that's the three. There's the 30, the 50, a tinted, and a matte. All right, hydrating intense moisturizer yes. does not have any sunblock and no mm -hmm. SPF. Nope, nothing. All of the image products, the only thing that has SPFs are the Prevention Plus, which is, that's the sunscreen. That's, and that's why we stick to that, that um, scenario of, of in order of what to do. I have mild rosacea, so mm -hmm. I, my concern is Starting on a routine like that, is that the line that you would suggest for somebody like that? If you have rosacea, vital C is your line. Um, why? So one of the things we talked about was peptides that was in it. And I said it's a, it's a branch of amino acids and you can manipulate them to target different things. A lot of rosacea, that redness to the skin, what it is is underneath the skin, the little capillaries, um, they leak. The, cap the, the wall of those capillaries aren't strong enough, so you get leakage. So the peptides in the vital C target capillary walls and build the strength up so they don't leak anymore, and it really takes the redness out. That's literally what this whole line was designed for, that anti-red, and all the peptides are to build the strength of capillary walls. Okay, so I have sun damage because of the sun. Mm -hmm. Can that be reversible? Could that be... Sure. Absolutely. You can, you can reverse any pigmentation things several different ways. So the Iluma line is, and we'll cover that on another, you know, individual course like this, but it specifically has um, botanicals, brighteners, things that will lift that pigment out. Um, it does take time depending on how deep that pigmentation is, or you can speed that process it up a 
a lot by having a professional um, service done and you can do a, a lightning lift. It's a chemical peel that uses um, uh, lactic and kojic acid, which specifically targets breaking up that pigment. Um, I will warn, however, that a lot of people will go and they get that pigment lifted out and then not wear sunscreen. And guess what? It's so going to be right back to where you started if you don't wear your sunscreen. That's Eric. Okay. okay. Any other questions? So what about capillaries, like broken capillaries on skin? Is this line good for that? I'm yeah. So it'll, you know, it, it will, it does treat that depending on, I mean, if you have a, a major burst, you might have to go to a dermatologist and, and, and have that done. Um, just depends on how bad it is. Most people um, actually in, in skincare, the rule, the laws always change. We're not even allowed to say the word rosacea anymore. Rosacea is a medical term for a dermatologist. So you'll see in all of our pieces or marketing ads, it's redness prone skin. It's just the legal way to say rosacea because rosacea sometimes if it's very broken or it's very at the surface, it's gonna re require a treatment by a dermatologist. But for a mild case of redness prone skin, Vital C is absolutely the best line uh, to choose. Did you? So we talked about anti-aging and all the ageless and all this stuff. But yes. now, fast forward, we got little wrinkles that we don't like. Mm -hmm. Do you have any products that could diminish that or can I Yeah, absolutely. So, so everyone has their preferences. I'll just give you what my, prefer my preferences are. So to, for little fine lines and wrinkles, nothing treats it as good as retinol. Retinol is a form of Retin-A, and what that does is when a cell is born and it travels through all the different layers of the skin until it becomes a dead skin cell up on the surface, that process takes about 21 days. When you use Retinol, Retin-A, any of those products, they're called retinoids, they speed that whole process up down to about seven days. The side effect of that is it will really take out a lot of fine, fine lines and wrinkles. Um, that's in the, the ageless line that we have. And there's several different strengths of, of the retinol. And it's, it's better than a prescription of Retin-A, even though you think, well, gosh, a prescription is the highest strengths. If you go to a doctor and get a prescription for Retin-A, it comes in quarter, half, and 1%. Those are the three strengths you can get a prescription for. However, it doesn't have a nice delivery system or anything, so you get irritated a lot from it. You're better to use a retinol product from a skincare company like Image because there's lots of technology that goes behind it. So you don't have to do it once every three days and go through the dry crack peeling phase once you of, of using that. Um, so whatever line you're doing, as long as you understand ingredients and what they do, you can really pick and choose products from each line. You don't have to just stick with all Vital C or all image or all ageless. You know what? The two favorite products is a Vital C serum with an ageless overnight cream because the ageless overnight cream has um, a starting dose of retinol. The, the quarter percent. That's would be what I'd recommend for fine line and wrinkles. I like to have like a profile, Karen. <laughs> yeah, I mean the estheticians. There's no, there's right, nobody can guide machine. you better than your licensed estheticians. Right, who, with the profile. Okay, so I want this is what you recommend because I want to do that three in the morning. First thing in the morning, I want to do those three, but then I want to do. Um, I want to do this the extra sunscreen and then I want to do the, the mask. So like a profile where we write down everything that we use and how, you know, because when we get, I get home, I'm going to forget everything you told me. Right, right. Yeah, and, they, and they, they, can guide you, they can guide you through that and actually have, have a little written, um, you know, if we call it our skincare diet. I always like to say skincare is very much like going to a gym. We all wish we could go to the spa one time, get a facial, and our skin to be in shape. 
It doesn't work like that. Just like going to the gym doesn't. And yeah. you can't go to the gym if you've never worked out and jump right into boot camp. <laughs> you got to go to do a little warm up first. And then you got to go for a workout. And then maybe if you've been experienced, jump into some of the really strong boot camp type thing. And if you've got that down, you can't eat Doritos all day when you're at home. Just like in skincare, you can't use junk skincare that um, literally is not doing anything but sitting on the surface of your skin. You must have been to buy house. <laughs> <laughs> we all cheat a little. <laughs> when, when do we put the mask on? The mask is whenever you want to. That's a sample of, um, uh, I think that's the anti-aging um, mask. Yeah. And you'll see when you open it up, um, You'll see they sell sheet masks, of, you know, at the store or whatever. These differ because in the store, they're like, it's a silicone. You, you peel it off and it's a silicone gel that goes on the mask. These are, there's no silicone. It's all 100% plant-based materials. Um, and there's a gray side and a white side. You put the gray side on your face and you peel the white off. And it's just soaked with a lot of different um, anti-aging properties. And you just put it on your skin and your skin you, you'll you'll see how what kind of shape your skin is in because sometimes you could put it on and literally that thing is dry in five minutes mm -hmm. it means your skin is really soaked it up and other times you put it on if you good good shape it may take you know 15 or 20 minutes for your skin to absorb it all but anytime you want to do that that's just a, a nice add-on to put a little like i wanted to ask you why are so many companies want to sell you a toner. Uh, I see you don't have any of that here. We don't. So what is a toner? So pH is very important in skincare. Um, you want your skin to be, it's like a 5.5 on the pH scale. So you have acidic side and you have alkaline side. Soap is one of the worst things you can use on your face. Why? It's pure alkaline, and it literally strips all of the protective oils, all the good things out of your skin. It just strips it out. So that's why using bar soap is horrible for, for your face. Invest in a cleanser. Cleansers aren't, aren't very expensive. On the other side, there's acidic sides. That's what chemical peels are. They're pure acids. They do something. So toners are supposed to put your skin in the, in the correct pH. It's just another complicated step. Skincare is hard enough. All of our cleansers are built in toners. So you just skip that step. You have a lot of cleansers, but what about eye makeup remover? So we have, for eye makeup remover, um, honestly, some, some of the cleansers, even the Vital C, the creamy cleanser will emulsify, emulsify the... Uh, yep. Um, we also have little wipes that they're, if you like a wipe, but that's, you know, that's makeup removal as well. I don't want to back you against the wall, but why should we use your product as opposed to a department store product, such as Lauder, Lancome, okay. what have you? Perfect question. Because by law, Anything from L'Oreal, anything from Estee Lauder, anything from, you know, $400 creams from Neiman Marcus, by law, cannot go into the living tissue of your skin. It, it's by law can't. So I don't care what you spend for it, what the brand is, $20 or $2,000, you're just putting it on dense, dead skin cells on the outside. That's the difference between a cosmeceutical where you're getting it through a licensed healthcare provider, it can go much deeper into the skin, into living tissue, and that's really where you can only affect real change in the skin. And that's why every single product we have, you can ask and look and see a clinical study done on it. Um, most over-the-counter stuff is just smell good, feel good, it'll soften up, it'll moisturize, it'll kind of help exfoliate some of the dead skin cells off, but it's never getting into the living tissue were to, to change it. Now that, that in a nutshell is the, the biggest difference. And so that's why it's you know, good to know why. I'm just wondering if any of our Zoomers have a question. 
Uh, anybody anybody on on the Zoom call have questions? You can uh, type it in. Where does the uh, uh, vitamin C oil come in? So vitamin C oil, that's just an, uh, an option. Um, it's not a, a central part or an essential part to any regimen. It is anytime you want a little bit of extra moisture um, and you like the feel of a light oil, you can do that. And it comes in a drop or two. So just a couple drops and you can put it on there. What, one of the things I always see, you, it's a huge seller is over the counter is that Neutrogena light sesame oil. Um, I used to use that stuff like crazy. I loved it. Um, it's just an oil not doing anything. The, the vitamin C facial oil is actually infused and has all the beneficial vitamin C's. But just, it's just your taste in how heavy hydration does your skin need. Because having dry skin is very different to many different people. From super, super dry to I just need a, a light water burst to add just like a, the feel of a little bit of oil. Can you add that to the, uh, the moisturizer? You can, you can, you can put, because it's in a dropper, anything that comes in a dropper is really meant to just add it to something else. We call it cocktailing in. You want to feel, feel a little oil, you could put it, a drop of literally any product that you have, you could put it in. So, or you can just put it right, right on the skin. Um, guys, if a, a lot of men will buy it as if they have a beard or a mustache because the oil stays on it and it gives it the sheen and makes it really healthy looking. But that's an example of maybe not a real core product or essential product in the thing. If we want to talk about the workhorse of affecting change and doing it, it's that original, the, the, the serum, hydrating anti-aging serum and the overnight cream. Anybody else? Wouldn't you consider the cleanser also a core? Yeah, it is. It's it's the the first that it's on that core essential page. If I didn't mention it, that's okay. that's what it is. Though I will say, if you were going to eliminate one of the three core products, um, I would say the cleanser. You can you can find quality cleanser as long as you're not using bar soap. Please, anything but bar soap. Um, you could probably get away with just using, you know, a, a nice cleanser from anywhere. Um, however, you know, the, the Vital C is specifically meant for that redness prone skin because it's very, that very milky, calming and soothing. So all of them, if you're only going to do one, it would be the serum. If you're going to do two, the serum and the, the night, the overnight cream. Uh, but really those three, the cleansers are the essentials, and then choose any one of the sunscreens you want to wear during the day. Sure. So I just wanted to announce that our next focus group, uh, we don't have a date yet, it'll be next month. It's gonna be on the ageless line, so we will be doing, um, everything we're doing in here today for Vital C, we'll be doing for ageless. So I hope the, um, all the members on Zoom right now will join us inside. You can see that we're all socially distant and, and safe here. So we'd like to join us if that feels okay. Um, if not, join us on Zoom. You guys will be getting an email on it and fill out your health questionnaires. We hope to have a big crowd for the ageless focus group. Perfect. And this one is really exciting because that is the premier um, anti-aging that you really see results results quickly. So you can see each one of these skincare lines is targeted for something else or for a specific skin type. So each one is really interesting in, in its own, but everyone's interested in anti-aging. So I look forward to doing that one. And one other thing too, we're not keeping a lot of product in inventory right now, um, as you can imagine. Image is a local company. We're really fortunate. They're in Lantana. 
Um, that's their headquarters. So it's very easy to order products, pull it in, get it in inventory. Should be like a week and we can have the product to you. So if there's something that we don't have in inventory, we can get it for you. Yeah, that's really kind of a, a, a neat side side thing that the best selling skincare company in the entire world is 20 minutes up the street. So that's the world's headquarters. There's in that one building up there, there's almost, almost there's over 400 employees of image right there. There's a giant call center and every single person at that headquarters, if you answer the phone, if you're a receptionist, you're required to be a licensed esthetician. Because the company motto is, I don't care who you talk to, they're going to know skin. So just the a neat, see, so that we ship from here worldwide and then we have a big distribution center in Dallas. But right here in Florida, it's a Florida company. You have a price sheet? Uh, yeah, they, I'm sure they have the spot does. Yeah, but then you have the member pricing. So if there's something you want, just let us know. We can give okay. you the member pricing on it. Okay. So what um, cleanser would you recommend to take off the... I make it remove. Remove eye makeup. So any of them? Yeah. So so any of them will 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 help remove makeup. Um, the ageless one is glycolic, so that's strong. But I don't know your skin type. I don't know if that's too strong to for you to take it off. There's you should probably consult with with the esthetician to to get the, the right one for your skin because just from across the room and without reviewing a skin health questionnaire, you know, I could, I could say something and then find out, um, oh, you have an allergy to aspirin, so you can't use salicylic acid. There's a lot that goes into it. So, you know, the spa, the estheticians are the best place to go for resources. Yep. I'm always available to, you know, answer any of their questions and I'm, you know, grateful that they let me come in here and, Run my mouth a little bit, yeah, but um, you. you know they, they're the experts too. Okay. Well, that's it then. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining us on Zoom.